everyone and welcome to our first eagle tutorial in this tutorial we're gonna first we're going to download eagle from the website then we are going to create our first board and we are going to order it from oshpark.com and then you can solder on the parts and I will show you the board that we're going to get I'm going to go to CAD soft usa.com slash download eagle and choose your operating system and your bit now once you've done that let's go down and open up eagle once it loads we are going to go to file new project and the project will be called led board and then we are going to right click that and hit new schematic let's hold full screen that and the first thing we're going to do is we are going to add on a header and you can find the pinhead library right here and we're going to choose a one by two header and put it right there the next thing we're going to need is a resistor and the um we're going to need the resistor and the LED, and to use them, we're going to need the Adafruit library, which you can download from GitHub. So I'm going to search up Adafruit. Eagle. Eagle library. And go to GitHub. And hit download zip. And I already have it. Or I'm just going to download it because. And we will go to the desktop. Open up Adafruit Library Master. And the file we're going to need is IBR, but don't open it. We're going to go to Eagle and we're at, we're going to use it from Eagle. We're going to go to Tools or Library and Use. We're going to go to Desktop and Adafruit.IBR and hit Open. And that will add the library to our add book parts. And here you can see the Adafruit library. Right there. And we're going to search with LED. Look in the Adafruit library and we're going to use... Um, we're not going to use these because these are so much now. going to use this one. Put it down right here. And we'll the next thing we'll be needing is a resistor. So we search up a resistor. And we are going to use this one. Hit OK. And place that down. Hit escape and hit cancel. Now we're gonna make this a little bit looking better. And let's do that. And okay, I'll save it. I'm gonna save it LED. Schematic. And let's take the line tool. And this will be the resistor. And the resistor to the LED. This too, we'll just connect it like that, and we will have to add a ground. So, search up G and D, and we're going to use supply two and hit yes and hit cancel. Now, we are going to go to file, switch to board, and it says did not exist, and we're going to hit yes right here. And you see this, we are going to take the move tool move everything onto this board and we're going to try to make it as small as possible because um, you don't want high costs from for your boards because then um, it's going to be yeah. we 
also have to um, a switch back to schematic. And the LED also needs a ground. So what we're gonna do is select this ground. We're gonna go plus, watch your ground. Okay, and put that right there. Cancel, save, switch the board. That way these are connected. And let's rotate to untangle that and we're going to shrink the board down as again you want to lower the cost of your board you can actually make it about this small if you want to cram anything everything inside move everything in and then we are going to get the routing tool and we're going to select that. And we're going to route from the top. Let's do that. And go straight into the pattern. Click on the pattern mode and let's go down to like this. Same thing. And then we are not going to connect this because you're not supposed to connect grounds. You're going to, or to connect them up the grounds we are actually going to select the polygon tool, select the center, just try to center as much as possible, and cover each corner. And you can get back to the center, and you click, it will make it a dotted line. Now we are going to hit rat's nest, and oh, we have to rip up the rat's nest because we the rat's nest and reconnect that route because um, you have to get the main tool. Let's put the main and we're going to change the name to GND. Okay, and that's nice. And that wire will be gone. If you zoom in on this, you can see you can see a cross and a cross. That means it's connected to the rat's nest, and that's connected to ground. And now we can order it. If you if you actually want the board, we're going to go to oshpark.com, and you're you can I'm gonna log out. You have to create an account by registering. And just register here. Now, once you've done that, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna log in. You can log in. Remember me. Sign in. I'm going to go to uh, I'm gonna go back to home. Let's we'll just go to Oshkosh. Right now, so I'll the file back here, and we are going to find the file which we have saved in Eagle. And there's an LED board, and we we're using the board always. We're never going to use schematic when you when you upload. Schematics just um, to help the to help the board. And I'm going to call it LED tutorial. And this, I'm going to say this is our first project. Hit continue. And we can look, we can just look through if you want to. And if you get this morning, don't, um, it has nothing to do with, it won't affect the board at all. So we're going to hit approve order, and it, you can buy it in, in packs of three, and the smaller the board, the cheaper it is, so this is all cheap. And you can hit keep shopping, and I'm going to go to projects, and you can see it right here. I'm going to show you the board right now, so we're going to switch over to the camera right now.
Now that we've made the eagle board, I'm going to show you a thought, fully soldered version of it. I have one right here. I'm going to move to the center so you can see it better. You see there's a red wire and the black wire, and there's an LED. You can focus it. It's going to focus. Just give it a moment. And you can see the red wire, the black wire, the LED, and the resistor. This is just another copy that I made. That's why I put my name on it, Jeff. And you can look at the back, see that it's soldered. And you can actually solder it if you buy it with a soldering iron and solder an LED. There is an LED, which I have right here, a resistor, which I don't have, and two wires of your choice of color. Now I'm going to actually show you how it's going to work. We're going to, I'm going to use an Arduino as a power source, a 9 volt battery to connect it up, and this. We're going to connect up the red here to 5 volts, and the black to ground. right next to the red wire. Now we're going to take the Arduino. Make sure this. You can see this. And I will attach it on. And voila. It lights up. And you can see the red light. It's very glowy. And it's Fun. And I can make it blink because right now I have the blink program loaded on. All you have to do is take the red wire and attach it to digital pin 13. It will start blinking. So guys, thank you guys for watching this video. And in the next video, we will be making our own Arduino chip that's programmable using the AVR header. And be sure to watch it. So, bye-bye.